Hi friends, in this video, we're going to talk about a company called uh, Kiri Industries. So primarily, again, uh, they are a chemical company which was founded in uh, 1998 and uh, they are based out of India. So this talk has got my attention uh, pretty recently, like where uh, like there was a legal dispute that was going on between uh, Dystar, one of the subsidies, and between them for a possible settlement. So where again, they recently won uh, 3,600 crore uh, in the final settlement uh, from the international uh, commercial uh, court in Singapore. And this made me wonder how the stock has performed over the last 10 years. So let's look at the financials. So now the company has made a sale of around uh, 3,700 crores in uh, March 11. And also again, uh, over the last four quarters, they have made around uh, 900 crores. This is partly due with the split that they had earlier. And uh, their margins are again slightly fluctuating because uh, since the company is into chemical space, so they uh, tend to suffer from uh, pricing fluctuation due to fluctuations in the raw material prices as well. So this has been uh, confirmed by uh, Fitch ratings as well, uh, where again uh, they have again uh, uh, mentioned that the company again uh, has raw material fluctuations, which results in uh, fluctuation in the price. So they actually make dyes, dye intermediaries, as well as uh, other similar products, which are again uh, capital intensive, as well as uh, the pricing tend to fluctuate. So now uh, when we look at uh, their earlier uh, reports, which they had, now this had uh, mentioned that the company again uh, was mainly susceptible to multiple forex rates as well as in terms of the pricing rates. So now due to which they have again uh, less moat compared to uh, other companies that are into niche space. Uh, so now due to that, now their uh, complete net profit margins also tend to fluctuate, right? Earlier it was in minus due to substantial investments in uh, uh, capex and also potential losses so they were able not able to turn around profits but now they are able to increase the profits because due to their uh, tax and uh, low interest that they paid so now earlier it was this because they were servicing their debt tax which were again uh, lower in the early days and they have increased because the tax outflow was higher so now which brings us to the point where uh, so now since the settlement has come in so now the company's cash amount tend to go up like currently they have a cash and investments of again 1200 crores and uh, they have a market cap of almost close to 2100 crores 200 crores so if you minus this two uh, it has almost uh, like where 900 crores, we are buying this company for almost 950 crores. But now if the settlement has come in, so fundamentally again, uh, the stock might again double from this current amount. So which is why again, uh, when I look to Kiri Industries today, uh, the stock has again gone up by uh, 13%, right? Which is very interesting, like compared to other stocks available in the market. And uh, so I think this is a good stock to watch it for, though I wouldn't recommend the holding the stock for quite long term. This is, again, might not be a fundamentally Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger kind of stocks. But again, these are again momentum trades, which we don't know when the upside will again uh, draw down. But potentially, I would feel the one when the amount comes in, since the settlement has come in, I think the stock uh, can at least go above 4,000 crores, which is again a high possibility if everything happens as per planned and uh, if inflation and raw metal prices are slightly under control i think it's reasonably deliverable so i hope you find this video useful and uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, share this with your friends and uh, and do drop in your comments what you think about uh, kiri industries and how they are going to emerge over the next uh, 12 to 18 months so that we can discuss that in detail so see you then and uh, Please feel free to press the bell icon so that you can get the latest updates regarding the videos. Thank you so much.